Okay, this video is my computer hardware. So let's just start at the side. We've got my oscilloscope here, which I do for testing. Sometimes I just use it as a visualizer. Got my function generator, a C DVD burner that I don't think works, a DVD burner that doesn't burn, and a whole bunch of other DVD burners that don't burn. I don't think any of my DVD burners actually burn. You know, they got that. Got that. I'm going to be hooking my Pentium 3 up below my desk someday when I clean it out down here, but that's going to be my monitor switcher, my keyboard switcher. Uh, sometimes the computer goes here. This is where my friend Chase has his computer hooked up often to this monitor. Then we've got the first computer I ever had. It's a 96 megabyte uh, RAM computer, uh, Pentium 133, uh, excuse me, Sound Blaster 16, uh, Trident Blade 3D 9880, I think is the name of the card. Or, I might be wrong about that. All right, got my IBM PS2 over here, which currently stays connected to the Pentium 3. Got my, uh, my IBM 5155. This is the one with the Swan DOS and the Norton change directory. This is my box of floppy disk. I guess I'll open the fucker. I've actually kind of organized it a bit, just a little bit, so I can actually see what I'm grabbing. It used to be all randomly shuffled in here and barely packed in. Okay, so... Then I've got, uh, this is a little bit jumbly because I went to my friend Wesley's over the weekend, so I've got uh, the, the, uh, everything crap crammed in here because I was moving around. In fact, uh, these sloppy disks should be in this box over here. Uh, yeah, that's my friend's computer again, and I've piled a bunch of shit on it. Uh, I used to use this back here, but it's no longer accessible, so this monitor just kind of sits here and does nothing. Okay, so... I have this keyboard. I, it was a. I, I, some people say. One of my friends said it was White Alps. Another friend said it wasn't. It's kind of weird about how it's built, but I bun, bent a bunch of metal pins around it. And I need to go through and soften them up a bit because I made it too stiff, and now it sounds like this. But it takes a little bit too much force to press down a key. F4 is my best key, though. F4 feels good. Okay, so I got this uh, Dell here. Actually, no, this is Wesley's, I think. Uh, Stack of keyboards, stack of keyboards, stack of keyboards. These are PS2, these are USB, these are AT. Uh, that fell over, apparently. That's a typewriter. That's the monitor to the typewriter. I guess the word processor word for it. That's a big-ass calculator. Uh, Tiny-ass TV. A compact server. It's got a 400 megahertz Pentium 2 in it. Uh, what the fuck is this tiny computer here? Uh, I'm not sure what's in there. Uh, I think that's a hollowed out case over there. Uh, I think we got a, two hollowed out cases over there. There might be something in that machine over there. I'm not sure. Uh, that is my secondary DOS machine. It's got a, I think it's got an AMD in it. It's either clocked at 266 or it's 100 something megahertz. But uh, that's an AT motherboard. Uh, it's got onboard graphics and all, the, all these other things are just onboard. Uh, what else is back here? I think there's a Dreamcast I'm, it's for parts back here that I've already, already pulled stuff out of. iMac G3, this monitor that is dead, which I kept the tube because the tube's in good shape and it's an amber monitor. Uh, this was gutted. My friend put a modern gaming rig in it for a while, then he bought a new case and he's not using it anymore, and I figured I could someday put a modern gaming rig in it again. This is an Apple monitor, which I realize I have it next to a woofer and it's probably not a good thing, but I've also never used it because I don't have anything that's compatible, but I'm keeping it just in case I do. Uh, Dell monitor, this is just a, I fine-tuned the picture on it to look good, but it's only 1280 by 1024, so I'm not uh, that excited about it. Uh, let's see, we've got, uh, my old left monitor here, uh, Apple keyboard, Apple iMac G3, or I guess it's just an Apple G3, the iMac is over here with the iMac keyboard. Uh, got my dot matrix printer over here, which I do use from time to time. I uh, got my game collection, you know, at least these shells didn't get fucked up. There's my uh, Windows 98 laptop I use for Sony DAWs. I keep it on that shelf. Uh, so, this is still an, a, a, a terrible wreck. And these are computers I really just want to fucking get rid of. I don't, I don't like LCDs, so yeah, we got a... Oh, son of a bitch, I just broke this. I don't make recording the video easier. Easier. All right, so we got some keyboards over here. I was hoping to get rid of with the computers. So what do we got here? Uh, this is a Dell Optiplex something. I know that. Uh, it's an Optiplex GX1. Uh, I tried and making a video of installing uh, an operating system on here, but my camera didn't record half of it, and I actually didn't get one on here. Uh, my friend, I think, tried gutting this thing, then he put it back together after I told him not to. 
uh, what is this? It's a Dimension L1000R. I should mess around with this one at some point. I don't know much of what's in here. Yeah, and then we've got a Adele, 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 Adele. Oh, no, that's an HP. These two are HPs, and this one's an HP. Um, these are all, all these black computers are Pentium 4 and Pentium D era. And I think at the most, one might have uh, two gigs of RAM in it. But these are my computers. I just, I just don't fucking want. I want rid of them. I would like uh, to play around with this one a bit at some point, but haven't really found time for it. Uh, and I, believe it or not, that's not all the computers. Uh, so, uh, let's see. So yeah, of course I got my main laptop over there, which is kind of a temporary thing until I can get this guy up and running again. Uh, I forget if there's anything. Okay, yeah, that one has a kind of iffy backlight. And uh, it's actually way faster than my other laptops, but I don't like it. It's got double the RAM. It's got a dual core processor. But, I don't know. This is uh, my laptop I really want to be using again. And I actually did buy a replacement keyboard for it, but I need a new motherboard. Oh, wait. Nope. This ain't the laptop I thought it was because... Oh, what the fuck? I'm not used to this fucker's messed up hinge. I think this one still is like a 2 gigahertz of CPU. Uh. Okay, so if I go in this Tupperware container... I don't know, I got some laptops in here and a bunch of parts, but... I can't really get this right now, so I'm not going to show that off. Uh, and, uh, there's my old ass DOS laptop, which, oh, I wanted a 3.1 laptop, which the hard drive cable's ripped on, and I really should throw that fucker out, and then I got this guy, which is a damaged work in progress I haven't touched in years, and I probably should throw that out, but I haven't. And there's my bedroom computer, so let's go show that fucker off. Since we're in my bedroom, this is my excessive bottle collection, including energy drinks that don't exist anymore. Uh, this is my alarm clock, which I like way more than that thing, which used to fucking beep and scream at me. This is my old computer. I got a tuner card and the PlayStation 2 was connect to it. Got my VCR for converting tapes to modern. Uh, this thing, uh, DVD-ROM drive quit working, so I just took the fucker out. Uh, so it's got, its main hard drive is a 20 gig max tour drive, which actually had bad sectors for a while and they went away over time. Uh, I'm gonna pull it open for a second. This was my main computer for a really long time, and really I kind of started using it at the end of a bad relationship. Uh, kind of a part of it was using this computer just kind of reminded me to being on Skype and talking to that asshole, but uh, this is a bowl of spaghetti. This is, used to be my main computer for so long. I got it in like 2009, and I used it very heavily all the way up to like 2012. Uh, it's getting kind of dusty even though I haven't been using it, but yeah, the main hard drive is a MaxTor 20 gigabyte drive. It actually has a hard drive activity light built on it, and uh, got my tuner card down here. And this is my ATI all in Wonder X800, and it is a very capable AGP times 8 card. It's one of the best AGP cards I've ever had. It is an awesome fucking card, although it runs really hot. That's the one downside. You think, well, if you think a 480 runs hot, this thing runs at like 90, 90 degrees Celsius all the time, and if I overclock, it'll break 100, and then I stop overclocking because I broke 100. And it's got a 3 gigahertz Pentium 4 in it, and it's got a... I think it's got 3 gigs of RAM or 4 gigs... Yeah, it's got 3 gigs of RAM in it. And this motherboard is made in 2002, so it's pretty decked out considering how old it is. Also, this is my keyboard, mouse, and the, I've had this mouse pad forever. I mean, hell, this mouse pad was actually made in, like, the 90s. My dad used it for a long time, and then he gave it to me on the first computer I ever had, and I just never quit using it, and you can fucking tell that... You can tell where I used to have the corner at, and I switched it. It's in pretty bad shape, and I haven't used it in a long time either, but... This is my main keyboard. I've actually rubbed the numbers off the number pad because I've used it so much. This is the most expensive keyboard I've ever bought. I spent $25 on this at Radio Shack when I was like 15 or so. It's pretty awful feeling now. I can not go back to it, but the main reason I bought it was because it had an actual volume knob, and I still wish my keyboards had that. I really like having a knob for volume. And also, it's got USB ports on it. Which, I think I soldered a new one on here at one point, and that's why it looks all fucky like that, but... Yeah, it was kind of nice. Although now I'm an all PS2 guy. The USB port ran at 1.1 speeds anyways. I also want to make a video of this TV someday. 
I got this at Goodwill a long time ago for two dollars and fifty cents and it I used to have a 13 inch TV here this is a 12 inch I think and it made my 13 inch look like a piece of shit this thing has a really good picture very low hour the picture is so bright and clean on it it's actually just as good as the 2006 Trinitron I have um yeah it's definitely 12 inch because the model is a kv127 and the, the the first two numbers in a in a sony mo trinitron model represents the screen size so the one in my basement's a kv36 something oh yeah this isn't wood grain this is real wood and it was not like that when i got it but i get pissed very easily and i've thrown this tv like everything else i have is it plugged in that's supposed to be about computers I don't got a video signal hooked up to it because my VCR is downstairs and that's how I get my channels or my channel. Actually, do I have this thing hooked up to anything? No, I don't. But as you can tell, that is a fucking really bright picture. I mean, to the camera, the room looks dark to it. It is really sharp. You can see every little grain with the static. It's awesome. This is a really good TV. You know, I just realized in this pile of junk here, I'm uh, pretty sure... Where the fuck is it? There's a case to it. Where the fuck is the computer? What the fuck? Oh, there it is. All right, we well, can't forget about this little Dell here. Uh, it's got an all-copper heatsink, a Core 2V Pro in it, and it's the only Mac OS capable computer I have. Uh, and my RAM's on one of my friend's computers, so I gotta get that out of it at some point reason why I got to get that RAM out is because I accidentally gave it to him because it was in a computer I gave uh, I was giving back to him to test with my RAM but I spent a hundred bucks for that RAM a long time ago and I still wanted it. it's uh, XMS2 RAM and it was an eight gigabyte kit that I got for about a hundred bucks used back in the day but yeah this is the Z800 still a work in progress build but I do use it quite a bit I take it over to my cousin's house every time I go there uh, this is a Dell Optiplex GX780 here that I've got sitting around till I find something to do with it. Uh, we've got, uh, the modernization IBM 5155 project. I haven't had enough money to dump into that yet. My wooden Super Nintendo is buried under here. I still need a new cartridge slot for it. Uh, this, de that's a working 771 server motherboard which I probably should not have this on top of it. This is a, uh, uh, something, DL, something tape drive, DLT tape drive. Uh, I have been wanting to get that working. This is, uh, my spare parts for the 8-bit hardware, and that's my RAM card for the IBM 5155. Okay, so obviously, you know, I've got my, my other IBM 5155 here at Windows 3.11, or Windows 1.03 is what I meant to say. So you're just saying 3.11. There is a Dell laptop with 2 gigs of RAM and a dual-core processor. I probably should start using that thing, but his screen resolution is so low. Ow! Son of a bitch compared to that thing. Hit my head off my steering wheel. These are my amazing de extra support for my ping-pong desk. Uh, that's the power for my amplifier. Apparently I have a DualShock 2 down here. It has TV speakers. Uh, this is shit that's really gotten carried away. Uh, ow! Fucking hit my head again. I should stop being out of here. Oh yeah, battery backup system I wanted to hook up and never did. They run on 24 volts. I wanted to put two car batteries to it, but never got around to that. Uh, tang band speaker and a bunch of disc. But where the fuck is that little card computer I have? I bought this motherboard for 10 bucks on eBay. Although I haven't been able to get a RAM or CPU for it to even test it. Because it's a DDR4 fucking motherboard. Uh, and it's a 1150... Uh, 1156 which I don't have anything like that I don't have DDR4 RAM I don't have 1150 anything CPUs uh, so I think it needs reflowed but I can't fucking do it because I can't afford to get this thing up and running but it was 10 bucks so it isn't much of a loss I just saw it and I figured oh fuck I, nobody's bidding on this I better grab it that one almost got away from me that is a Dell Optiplex something. It is the it is a very old Dell. It's from a Pentium 4 era, but this is one where it was a, it was an early 775 motherboard. It's compatible with the D950 and uh, 965, and it also has PCI Express time 16 and at 1.0. And it's not a backwards motherboard because of how old it is. So out of all the Dells I have, this is one of the ones I actually want to keep because I can put whatever fucking graphics card I want in it. Okay, I just unveiled the plastic from this just so you can get a good look at this. I wanted to make a video on this, but I never have. This is a 1974 Sony Trinitron solid-state TV 
it's like you know one of the earlier solid state TVs and uh, it's the tube on it's kind of weak but it works just fine and I, I used it in my duck hunt video so you know what the picture looks like it's a pretty nice little fucker uh, solid wood chassis uh, it, it's awesome uh, this is a laptop I didn't know I had because I thought I gave it away a long time ago. I don't know what the hell's in it. I'm not very interested in it. Uh, this is my 24-inch Trinitron TV. I have my little cart I wheel around to. So say I want to like record a video, gameplay with video on my SR2 or something like that, I will this TV up to it and a video will first go into the TV so I can play it without any input lag and proper video output and shit like that. And uh, Yeah, uh, that's my... That's a 28-inch Trinitron. That's just sitting around in case somebody wants a nice Trinitron. Oh, by the way, this one's very low hours, and out of all my Trinitrons, it has one of the better pictures. This one's on part, the one on my bedroom TV I was telling you about. This one's okay, but it's definitely been used a lot. It's still got a sharp picture, but it could be sharper. And yeah, that's my 36-inch. I love that fucker. This Samsung TV needs, uh, excuse me, a new DLP chip. I probably should throw it out, but I'm going to hold on to it till I end up moving, then I'll throw it out. And I got this old fucker up here. This used to be one of my computers, and I kind of just throw spare cards in it I have that I want to stand out in case I'm going to use them. Like, I know I got a Sound Blaster in there, got another tuner card, got a, a, dual, uh, a dual video out VGA card. Um, but yeah, then I've got, uh, I got shit like this. I got boxes of cards. I've got boxes of cards. I've got boxes of cards i will make a video on them someday but it's ridiculous how many damn cards i have i've got cards i've got okay that's actually not a card that's just a cooler from one i've also got this little tv down here every once in a while i'll take a comeback to i dropped it a long time ago when i was trying to do a composite mod for it and um i i can't get the high voltage to come up and i have not been able to do that for a long time and I'd say about once a year I'll put like an hour into it because it's such a back burnery project. But it is a color TV. I still can't find that damn card computer, but this network card right here has always been my favorite network card. This guy, I've been using it since 2005, and um, I really liked it because it when it says designed for Windows 98, Windows 98 has plug and play drivers for it. So whenever I installed Windows in every computer back in the day, this was the card I used. And in 2005, Windows 98 was my main OS. I didn't get an XP-capable computer at all till like 2006, and it could barely run it, having just scraping on the minimum requirements. Now, of course, I did run it with my little 10 gig hard drive and my fucking 128 meg RAM system with the Pentium 3, because I wanted to see XP so bad. But, uh, yeah, this card is a shit. Also, hopefully I can make some side money on eBay, because I looked it up, these things are fucking expensive, and I looked it up, and this thing is fucking expensive, which, this, I guess, uh, it's like a little phone line tester thing I found dumpster diving, and, uh, yeah, don't got no batteries in it, but, I mean, shit, this is in better condition than the ones I've seen on eBay going for over 100 bucks, so I think I can at least get 50 out of it, so... We're going to just put it for bidding as untested since I, uh... Oh, that's why I haven't sold this thing. I wanted to get batteries so I could actually test it. That's what I was going on. 